Hey folks, so today we're going to go over security auditing and now that you've completely staked your Windows 10 workstations and Windows Server, we're going to go into detail what the, those events activated uh, from the benchmarks. So I'm going to jump right into it. Um, a lot of this information I pulled from the JSIG documentation. So if you look at JSIG and the AU2 control, this is in the audit audit family, audit and uh, accountability family, AU2. And we're going to be looking for mainly these events. So log on, log off, security relevant file and object event. So why do we look for log on, log offs? Uh, we want to ensure that everyone's authorized to log on to whatever system they have access to. And sometimes we, we want to get the time of offline activity. And just to go over some of these other ones, um, root users, you know, we want to ensure that we can track everyone who's logging in and as an admin who's making changes to the system to ensure that they're approved to make whatever changes they need to for the system. Um, and some of the other things we have is, you know, uh, privileged activity. So whatever they do, again, uh, we want to make sure that they're making approved changes. There's change records if, if your organization has one. And some of the other stuff, I'm not going to really go over, but I'm just going to show you what I do. Uh, if you're trying to do it manually, so search an over. A uh, quick overview of my lab. I'm going to show you. So what I have here, I have basically three, three workstations. They're all VMs. Um, I'm using VMware Workstation Pro. And my servers, I also have a Splunk server right here. That I'm going to show you. And this is my Splunk Enterprise that I'm still working to configure. So I installed the universal forward, forward all the logs uh, from all the workstations and my domain controller all the way into here. And But if you need to do this manually, right, I'm going to quickly go over how to do it manually if you don't have an automated mechanism like Splunk. So here, I'll log in my workstation. And I kind of pre-stage this ahead of time. So when you're looking at the scary events, um, this is the cheat sheet I pulled from Ultimate. What's the website? The Ultimate Windows Security Guide. So this guy, he basically made a cheat sheet of these these uh, event codes, which kind of correlate to the AU2 controls. So how I would do it is when you're creating, a, you, the first thing you'll do is create a custom view, right? And you want to drill down to whatever uh, event logs you want to look for. So for example, security, and you can filter it by ID. So for example, let's do successful logon. So if you're trying to find an event code based on successful logon, you know that it's 4624. So I'm just going to do 14624 and click OK. And I'm going to save this in my IA. I'm just going to call it successful logons. And here. And as you can see, there's a lot of events and you can go through them and it's a lot. And I'll, I'll do another one so you can Get an example. Other one we could do is let's double check. No, you know what? Let's do uh, software. So usually, if you're running an installer, let's look for the MSI. And the event logs is application. And I'm going to click OK. Let's save this. I'll just type in software. And 
and as you can see right here, I've installed the uh, Splunk Universal 4 8, version 8.1.3, and and if you're working IA, you want to double check that all these are approved, right? So if your sysams are just installing stuff without uh, it being approved, you might want to follow up with that, right? And this is how I would do it manually if you're really trying to, if you don't have Splunk or Elk Stack or something else or Kibana.